Hello everyone. Welcome to the best of CAD series by IMS. My name is Deepak Jaryal and today we shall be looking at a question on the topic of sequence and series that was asked in previous year's exam. I would recommend that you guys please pause the video and then attempt it. I hope everybody had paused the video and attempted the question. Let's try to see the approach now. The question says the natural numbers are divided into groups as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and so on. Then the sum of the numbers in group 15 is equal to what? Now in these type of questions, what is recommended is that you try to find out the pattern here. right? Because it would be very difficult to actually reach up to the group number 15 and then try to find out the answer. So the pattern goes like this. If I name the group groups as group number 1, group number 2, group number 3, 4 and so on. And if I focus on the number of elements as of now. So what is the number of elements in group number one? One element. Group number two, the number of elements are three. Group number three, we've got five elements. Group number four, as you would guess, there would be seven elements. So what I get to know from here is that the number of elements in every group are odd. And odd natural numbers can be represented by two and minus one. So first group had two into one, minus one, one element. Second group has 2 into 2, minus 1, 3 elements, like that. So if you have to find out the total number of elements in group number 15, it would be 2 into 15, 30, 30 minus 1, 29 elements. So we know in group number 15, there would be 29 elements. I hope everybody is clear. So in group number 15, there are 29 elements. Now the second part of the question would be, what are those elements? To find out those actual elements, Again, we'll have to see the pattern in the question. If you observe, the first group ends with one square, or the last element of the first group is one square. The last element of the second group is two square. The last element of the third group is three square. You must have guessed by now. So, as you can see, so group number one ends with one square, group number two ends with two square, group number three ends with three square. So group number 15, which has got 29 elements, so it would must be, it, it definitely be ending with 15 square. That would make it how much? 225. Now in group number 15, the last element is 225. And I know the total number of elements are 29, including 225. So I can find out the first element also, and I can find out the sum very easily. So 225 minus 28 would make it 197. So from 197 to 225, what is the total sum of all the values? They all are in AP. You know the first term, you know the last term, you know the common difference, you know the number of terms as well. So we can find out the sum. So what is the general formula to find out the sum of an AP? So it is N by 2 into first term plus the last term. So what is N, guys? What is the total number of elements? We know 29 elements. What is the first term? 197. Last element, 225. That looks like 29 by 2 into this is 422, right? So 211. So 211 times 29 would give us 6119. That is a sum of those 15 elements in group number 15. Now you could have also looked at the question, not very differently, but almost the same. Because if you see, if you're not able to visualize what is the first element, if you remember, 15th element would be ending with 15 square. So can I say 14th group would be ending with 14 square. So the last element of 14th group would be 14 square, that is 196. So can I say 15th group would be starting with 197? And thereby we can find out the sum. I hope everybody's clear so, so far. If you've understood the question, please try this replica question and write your answers in the comment section. Thank you so much. Thank you.